Hello, painters. The purpose of the video today is to show you how to prepare your canvas for when you start your first um, finished painting. And so this first painting is going to be a still life painting. And at this point, you should have already done your thumbnail sketches, okay? So you know what your composition is going to be. You should have already done your value study or your color study, whichever one you're doing. Um, and then before you start the canvas, you want to do a drawing that is on a separate sheet of paper, okay? This could be tracing paper, it could be newsprint, it could be drawing paper, it doesn't matter the quality of the paper. Um, the drawing should be the exact same size as the canvas or the panel that you are going to be working on. Okay, so you wanna be sure that your drawing is um, the accurate proportions, the accurate angles, and really the, the composition um, that you have decided in your thumbnail sketch and um, should match up perfectly with the size of your canvas. Okay, so this just shows you that I have already traced kind of the shape and size of my, my surface here. Okay, and then the drawing that I did, I already did the drawing, um, but it's, the drawing can be pretty sketchy. Okay, so it can be gestural, it can be, you can see I've got some sort of sketchy and gestural lines in here. I've kind of divided the composition in half. Um, I'm not real concerned about detail and I'm not real concerned about, like I don't need to erase any mistakes that I've made, okay, unless I want to. But at this stage, a drawing on paper eliminates the need to do any erasing or correcting when you get to the canvas, okay, when you get to the actual painting. And that's not to say that you can't do correcting when you get to the painting, but it's easier to do all the proportional um, problem solving and the scale problem solving and all of that that you potentially are gonna need to erase. It's easier to do that on paper, on sort of a low stakes um, composition. Okay, so once you have your drawing and it's in place where you want it, you're going to cover it on the back side in either charcoal or graphite or something that is easily transferable. Okay, so I've just got some vine charcoal here and I can kind of make out the lines of my drawing, just seeing it through the back side. So I'm just gonna kind of give it a layer of charcoal. And if you can't see through it, then just cover up the whole piece of paper. Okay. And I think that has covered all of it. Okay, and then I'm going to line it up with the edges of my canvas or panel, right where I've got my trace lines. And sometimes it's easier to actually cut out the drawing so that you can actually like tape it to the canvas or panel. And then I'm just gonna trace over my original drawing. Okay, so it's just like a, like a, like transfer paper, like homemade transfer paper. Okay, you wanna put enough pressure on your drawing tool that you're really transferring um, the charcoal residue that's on the back. And again, I'm not gonna worry about detail. I'm just gonna kind of get the general outline Now you always can draw right on your canvas, okay? So it's not to say that you can't do that. This just saves some hassle 
if you find that your proportions are off. You need to erase and change the composition or anything like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna double check, make sure I hit every line. And then what comes out is the tracing of, or the transfer drawing, I guess, of the, um, the drawing that I had done. Okay, it's a little bit smudgy, just the nature of charcoal, and also my hand pressure that was on the paper as I was drawing, so now I can go back and kind of correct if needed, just kind of get some more solid lines in there. So the next step I'm gonna do will be um, giving it a, a wash with oil paint and that, I don't want it to wash away and erase the lines that I just made. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give this a little bit of a harder edge. Okay, so again, not much detail, just the general placement of the big shapes and the important relationships. All right, and when I've got that down, then I can go over it with a wash of really any color. I'm gonna use some raw umber here. I don't need much of it. Okay, so if you remember, raw umber is a pretty neutral color. Okay, so I just need some raw umber, a fairly thick brush, and some mineral spirits. And I'm just going to thin down the paint and just paint over my entire canvas or panel. Okay, it doesn't matter if the paint gets streaky, doesn't matter if your pencil lines or your charcoal lines run a little bit, you're gonna paint over all of it. As long as you can still see your shapes, that's all that matters. Okay, and because this is mineral spirits, it'll dry pretty quick. You don't wanna start painting on it until it's dry.
You want to make sure that it's dark enough that you'll be able to see white paint, like when you add your lights, which we'll get to after this. Um, but when you start adding paint, that you can see the contrast between this color and white and not too dark that you can't see the contrast between this color and your darks in your composition. So you wanna have it a nice medium value, not too dark, not too light. Okay, again, it doesn't matter if it's streaky, doesn't matter if it's blotchy, sometimes the texture that's left um, by just the mineral spirits just kind of settling and puddling, sometimes that's kind of fun to work with like to actually kind of play with in the future. Um, but for now, we're just gonna let it dry, whatever the texture is, and um, know that we're gonna paint over it. Okay, so you just leave it out to dry. If you were to tilt it upward, like it's, it's better to let it sitting flat, to leave it sitting flat because then it will dry just like this. If you let it dry when it's sitting upright, then the mineral spirits will kind of like um, flow downward and will leave this sort of like watery, trailing, drippy look, which again, sometimes that can be a good thing if you like that effect, but um, if you want it to be as consistent as possible, leave it sitting straight. Um, okay, so once it's dry, you'll be able to start on the first layer of your painting. Thank you.